क्वेश्चन नंबर 121 व्हिच वन ऑफ द फॉलोइंग इज इनकरेक्टली मैच्ड फर्स्ट ऑप्शन सोडियम सिलिकॉन दे आर बेनिफिशियल एलिमेंट्स इट इज ट्रू दैट दे आर बेनिफिशियल जिंक इज रिक्वायर्ड फॉर द सिंथेसिस ऑफ ऑक्सिजन इट इज आल्सो ट्रू NPK nitrogen phosphorus and the potassium they are critical elements it is also true fourth one magnesium it is the activator of alcohol dehydrogenase no zinc is the activator of the alcohol dehydrogenase not the magnesium so it is incorrectly matched so the correct option for the given question is option number 4 let's move to the next question question number 122 According to potassium pump theory of Levitt, which ones are correct? A. During opening of stomata, ion exchange is an active process. Yes, during the opening of stomata, there is ion exchange between the guard cell and the epidermal cell, and it's an active process because it needs energy. So this is correct. B. Potassium malate increases the osmotic concentration in the vacuole. it is also correct potassium malate increases the osmotic concentration because it increases the solute concentration hence osmotic concentration increases c for closing of stomata aba functions in absence of co2 no when the co2 concentration is high then aba functions and aba leads to the closing of stomata so aba functions when there is high concentration of co2 or you can say in the presence of co2 so this is incorrect d aba inhibits potassium ion uptake by changing the diffusion and permeability of the guard cells for positive ions it is true how this abscisic acid or aba leads to the closing of stomata it changes the permeability of the guard cells for the positive ions positive ions of the k plus they cannot move inside and which leads to the closing of stomata so a b and the d are correct so the correct option for the given question is option number 3 let's move to the next question question number 123 in krebs cycle substrate level phosphorylation occurs when what is a substrate level phosphorylation substrate level phosphorylation is the atp synthesis directly means direct atp synthesis is called the substrate level phosphorylation when can you see in krebs cycle that direct atp synthesis takes place when there is conversion of succinyl coenzyme a into succinic acid succinyl coenzyme a is a four carbon compound succinic acid is a four carbon acid when this conversion takes place substrate level phosphorylation occurs so this is true what happens when alpha ketoglutaric acid converted into succinyl coenzyme a then decarboxylation takes place as alpha ketoglutaric is a five carbon acid and succinyl coenzyme a is four carbon so there is a release of co2 which is called decarboxylation step but here the question is concerned with the substrate level phosphorylation so the correct option for the given question is option number 2 Let's move to the next question. Question number one hundred and twenty-four. Which statement is are true with respect to the alcoholic fermentation? A. Net gain is two ATP. It is true that in alcoholic fermentation there is a net gain of two ATP molecules. It is same for the lactic acid fermentation also. During the lactic acid fermentation, the net gain of ATP is two molecules. reducing agent is nadph no it is nadh not the nadph it is not formed anywhere during the respiration co2 is not released no co2 is released during the alcoholic fermentation so only a is correct so the correct option for the given question is option number 3 let's move to the next question question number 125 the pgr or the plant growth regulator which is involved in various growth inhibiting activities is abscisic acid it is the stress hormone and it is involved in various growth inhibiting activities it leads to the dormancy of seeds also this is one of the growth inhibiting activity so the correct option for the given question is option number 3 let's move to the next question mm -hmm. 